ladies and gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, this morning we've got a whole bunch of everything going on. We had ice, uh, sleet and ice come through uh, yesterday afternoon and overnight, and roads are ice covered, uh, especially side roads and back roads. The interstate, uh, when we got back about one o'clock this morning from a major incident, the interstate was still completely ice covered. It is now mostly cleared, but uh, all of the side roads are just now getting an opportunity to try to work on those. The secondary highways are completely covered with ice. We've got a semi jackknifed. Uh, I gotta go. Okay, we were instructed by the trooper. I don't know if you can see him in my mirror or not To turn around right here and back in as the truck and trailer are on the other side of a small hill here and he said it is super super slick Looks like it too. I got my uh, power divider and my axles locked in, so I got all I got eight wheel drive back there. I stay towards the middle of the road. I might be okay. It's thick here. Look, at, you can see a few patches there underneath. Yep. get to the crest of the hill and reach him with a winch that's kind of what I was referring to whenever I was talking to him if I get to the top of the hill and reach him with a winch we might be okay even if I can stay on this side of the hill use the hill against us use the, it. yep we'll just have to see I don't want to get out and the truck start rolling off on me either I don't know what he looks like. If he's just stuck on the hill and can't spin, or if he, or it was called in as a jackknife. So I don't know. I don't know what the trailer looks like. If he's loaded, if he's empty. Very little information. I do have some salt though in the truck, so. I think they, I know that they were going to try to get MoDOT in here to try to clear some of it. You know, the semis, the tractor's partially off the road, it looks like. Well, if we can get the right angle pull on him, that's the issue, you know? That way he comes up on the road and back straight with us. 
Yeah, because his tires are just gonna follow whichever. Yep. Good stretch down there. Okay, I'm gonna stop on level. All right, in this front side compartment, there's those purple uh, buckets of ice melt. Okay. Put them in front of my tires and behind my tires. For right now, I'm gonna go check out the situation. Uh, morning, sir. I'm gonna be in your way. Do I need to try and back down? That way a little bit. You're fine. You're giving visibility that way both ways. Yep. You alright? Oh yeah. No, I've been skating uh, for a few hours here now. Oh yeah. Uh, MoDOT, who knows where the heck they are. So. Okay. Hopefully they get here soon. Right there. Yep. I'm gonna have to grab my ice cleats. to have. Yes, sir. I think I see Mo Dot. Yeah, if you want to holler at him, you got a way to con uh, contacting him. I can move and back back down here. You see how my tires are already melting in some? But that's what that ice melts for. It helps melt the other areas around it. He's got a, a salt truck that he just saw going that way. He's trying to get a hold of MoDOT to see if they can send it back, back over here. Because I really need to be over here so I can get a good line on this truck. I don't want to have to put my chains on, but if I do, I do. Morning, sir. Are you loaded or empty? How heavy? Uh, 20, 25. 25,000? I can try to get it from where I'm at. I don't want to get down here if I can keep from it. 
We're gonna have to get you over this way. These ice cleats make a world of difference. Should have got mine from the house before I left. Hey, Ron. Yes, sir. They should be coming right back. Okay, you want me to go down and. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. Do you think you can get it, or would that be better having some cinder put down? If we can have some cinder or something put down, that's going to help a whole lot, especially where he's at and the angle I'm going to have to be at. Let's, uh, if you don't mind waiting. Yeah, no, no, I mean, we've got to do this the best way we can. If you want to just start heading down that way, wait for him to come through. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back down where we were. I'll pull off the edge and let him make a pass through here or whatever he needs to do. Yeah, I mean, that, that, All right, sounds good. Tell him west of the interstate, west of the interstate. I, yeah, I heard, I heard him whenever I was on the phone with your dispatch, telling him, or trying to see if they could get somebody coming in. But, Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. All right. At least we got some. We're gonna go back and wait on the wait on the uh, salt truck. Okay. All right. We're gonna go ahead and put some chains on this girl. Hate to, but sometimes do what you got to do. All right, start digging the chains out there in uh, the box over there with all the uh, uh, kinetic rope and the uh, uh, rim slings. Never have had to break these out. I need, uh, I've got enough. I just need, I'm just gonna do one drive, but I do need the steers. Yeah. Steers are in this big pair of bags, right? Yeah, probably that 425. It should say 425 on the box. See, nope, not salt truck. So is that bag the only one of those that you're going to be using? Or no, I'll I'll one? need one more. One more, so one can go back back in it. Okay. And then does that say 425 yeah, on it? Okay. It. All right. I'm gonna call Trooper and tell him what we're doing. That way, in case MoDOT doesn't show up, we're pre prepared anyway.
Oh man, these are the dual chains. The good ones. These are extremely important not to get uh, tangled up. Okay, this is going to take... I know it's not how they're supposed to go. me yes sir yep yep I'm I'm putting my chains on right now sir yes sir Bye. all right grab a hold this outer edge we gotta go over both sets This is right. Just like that. Now get that other bag opened up and laid out. I'll get this one to start tying it together. Those that go on the other side, on the rear. much for not getting wet. Find uh, hooked parts. Follow it across. There should be another one. Right here. Right here. Okay. All right. All right. Now the the cams always go to the outside. But, hold on, let's see what we got here. Yeah, get it all laid out straight. Yeah, 
Okay, spin it around. You go in front of me. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. Well, you can take it just like this and go up and over. Grab this edge. Just like a while ago. Yeah, I'll get that front ready, please. Sucks. I'm wet. Spin it around. Okay, on the outside. But just trust me. Because wow. these, these always go towards the ground. So. Like this, see how they're rolled over? That's how we want those. There is a specific way they have to go on. Get that other side ready.
This way I can get right up on him and get that side pull to get him out of there. Hold, hold, hold. There's your hook. So let's find the other one. All right. There you go, you got it, you got it, you got it. traveling a long distance we put straps and all kind of stuff on here to tighten these down and hold them in place but this is as far as we're going so we're just gonna go loose with it all right pick up your bags put them in the box I'm gonna set it down and we're gonna go he said don't worry about MoDOT However, they got two trucks right there. They're not going to go that way. Well, I thought they were here to help on that road, but they're not. Let's roll. coming this way maybe you don't know these chains make it a bit bumpy 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 Adam's telling me to stop chains on we'd have not started off from that stop position on this hill
first time ever that we've had to chain this dang truck. Ever. But it's this stupid ice. I hate the ice. I hate the ice. Had two MoDOT trucks that went around me. Oh, I know. I've been on the pole with them. There's one stopped up there in the intersection. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get a white that white line on him to the far side and get him coming this way. What are we gonna hook to? Uh, that you. front bumper. It's not much of a bumper, but it's what he's got. So uh, there's tow hooks in it, okay. built into it. Maybe a sling, I'm not sure. But or a master link. Here, let's go look, or I'll go look. A clevis and a uh, master link. Or clevis and a uh, rope. Clevis here. Yep. That'll be fine. I may have to back up some more. I really don't want to, but. You need, I've got an extra set of those ice cleats in my office. Well, say I've got some at the house. Get over here and walk in the grass. Don't walk on this. If you ain't got cleats, get over and walk in the grass. All right. You got some traction there. Huh? Yep, then grab that white line.
I want you to do is release your brakes. Okay. I do not want you to spin. Okay. Put it in neutral. Because if you spin, it's, gravity's gonna take you right down into the ditch. Okay. Just slow and easy, turn your wheel this way. Keep it turned right like that. Now you can cut it a little harder. Get that trailer away from the edge. There you go, doing good, doing good. Straighten out a little bit. There you go, there you go. I'm gonna raise my outriggers and see if I sit still. If I do, I'm just gonna pull you over the crest of the hill just the way we are. I'm gonna try just line pulling him. Get him up just barely over the crest of the hill. Put it in drive and see if you can move. If not, we'll go forward a little more. Okay, let me cut, let me bring you up here a little more. Here, Eli, hold on to this, but do not touch anything. Please. Start breaking her down. Which way are you headed? 
going south. Okay, we're at exit 91. I'll just have you follow me. Okay. Once we get rolling, let's just, well, I gotta stop and take my chains off though. Okay. All right, uh, we'll get on this exit ramp where it's safe and it's dry, they've cleared it. It's good dry pavement. I'll take my chains off and we'll square away up there, okay? First time ever since we got this truck that we've had to put chains on it. Go ahead and get in the truck. We're, we're, we're good. This right here is melting already. I don't know if they had, while we were working, I don't know if they had a plow truck come up. I don't think they did. That's the first one I've seen come this way. Okay. I'm good. All right, we're on flat, level ground. Still slick. Still slick. About did it again time to get back in the truck too. Thankfully taking the chains off is a whole lot easier than putting them on. Yeah. Alright, he said he's going the same way we are, so we're gonna hit this exit and then we'll take our chains off. I'll have you start taking the chains off if you're okay with that. Yeah. All you do is take this tool that I've got here and undo the cam locks right. and then undo the hooks and then zip tie them together like we showed you at the shop whenever you're getting them all ready. I can't tell if he's moving or if he's stuck again. Well, we know we can go down this way. Okay. Don't need all of that now. ramp here no shoulder is what I'm looking for shoulder so we can and it looks right around the right on the end. yep I need to give him enough room to come so people can swing in but give us enough room to get our chains off Yeah, there's a curb there. We ought to be good. Because they can always swing around us here. Alright. Alright. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there he comes. We're going to take our shoes off since we're on dry pavement, or sort of dry pavement now. He's coming up out of there. He's supposed to be coming the same way we are. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.